Hello, 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 and welcome to the Run It Once Poker Legends Heads Up Match. It is going to be another special day, the Legends Showdown. And uh, we've got a couple of Finns battling it out today. Make Boyfin against Pauly Iris, as uh, we know, is uh, Philismes, who... Uh, on the bottom of your screen, top of your screen, is Make Boyfriend, of course, Dr. 877. I'm David Tuckman, joined by fellow legend who is participating in this match. Not this particular match, but in this uh, challenge. And that is Kevin Rabichow. How are you, Kevin? I'm doing great. Thanks. Happy to, uh, happy to be in the booth. This was a match that I was looking forward to watching already. So it's uh, yeah, a happy way to do that. So you had mentioned right before the stream started, it'll be a good test for you to figure out when your uh, when the cards might be wrong. Over on the left yeah. hand side, there we've got an interesting hand developing: a pair of fives, the nut flush draw against the pair of nines. Yeah. So from from my limited exposure to Make Boyfin's game, this well, I guess we'll see how he responds to this all in. If he bet folds here, I have a feeling his hand is accurate, and and Philismi's hand looks very reasonable for this line. Tough spot here. A lot of draws out there. I mean, heart draws. There's the all-in. Wow. Ten of diamonds, and the king nine holds. That was an Pretty interesting, interesting spot. spot for sure. I think Philismi's play is, I don't want to say like standard, like nothing's going to happen, you know, every time against every opponent, but I think it's super, super reasonable. Uh, part of a good balance strategy. Uh, I would say that Make Boy Finn's play there is less standard. Um, but yeah, like the turn bet is very thin. Um, and he kind of. It, it claims that he's not giving Polly a lot of credit for having many strong hands that check turn and then check raise all in. He just kind of gives him a lot of semi bluffs, a lot of hands like what he had. Kind of interesting. This, hand. Uh, yeah. yeah, this format pot over here. I would kind of just expect the money to go in. Oh, wow. He decides all in lead. So I think we're just going to see the money go in if, if Polly's hand is accurate. Yeah, he just bet 9,300 basically into a 4,000, 4,800. Uh, Euro pot. So basically, he went 2x. And action on Pauly with pocket tens. I mean, credit to Pauly for thinking about this a little bit. Like, it's, it's oh, quite possible no. that a jack is just leading out. He is going to get there. He does get there indeed. Make Boyfin. Already in the green, now up 17,000 as we continue on. We're just 69 hands in to our 750-hand match. Just a heads up here. So Fedor is in the lead right now. He's 1-0, up 49K. Uh, Philismes is also 1-0. He's up 29K. Kings versus Ace-Queen and another pretty big pot over on the left-hand side. Kevin, you're in third right now. You are down 13K. But you're one and one. Bjorn Lee is in fourth at one and one, down 34K. Make Boyfin 0 and 1. This is a crucial match for him, by the way. He's 0 and 1. He's only down 1,900. It was super close, but needs to win these matches. Mikhail Thuritz, also 0 and 1, down 29K. The top four will advance to the semifinals. So this is a crucial match for Make Boyfin. Yeah, I'm not really sure that there's that I have like much of a rooting interest in the result of this match. I think it's even even if Make Boyfin loses here, he could potentially knock me out of the top four with just a big win against me, and we we both end up one and two. So I don't know if there's like a a result here that excuses me from having to just take care of business against Make Boyfin. It is theoretical that you could win the next match. And no, yeah, it, basically, you've got to just win. Win, you're in. Huge wow. pot there. Yeah, big call down with Ace Queen. Chat's informing me that it was flop small bet and then half pot on the turn, pot shove. So it's very standard to get to the river with Ace Queen and then just giving Polly credit to, to bluff. 
a pretty decent amount there, making maybe not maybe not always calling ace queen, but it's a reasonable hand to call. As as we're talking a four bet pot building here on table one, I think we're gonna see a big pot. It's possible that make boyfin will check behind oh he does so that that changes the dynamic if make boyfin had bet the flop i think we probably just see all the money go in um like probably check obviously back. say again i was going to ask if you like the check back here um i i think it's fine it's a pretty like it, it's a board that you don't necessarily want to mess around with too much because the the big blind is pretty strong like makes a number of of decent hands but at the same time, like when when you four bet pre flop and there's not that much money behind anymore. Ooh. Wow, sexy little um, river there. Yeah, actually, like a little not like surprised to see Ace Nine call the turn, but it's like not loving life right away, and he does just fold very quickly on the river. It, that queen on the turn was pretty bad. Looks like bottom two against pocket eights. I don't think scrambled eggs. I don't think. Uh... Uh, Paulie's going to go anywhere just yet with eights, especially since he has the eight of spades. This this could get ugly, especially on a turn card like this. This is a spot that Paulie's going to feel very inclined to bluff catch, at, le at least through the turn and possibly for the river as well. The fact that he has two eights in his hand, though, does that make it, and the eight of spades, does that make it less likely that make boyfriend is actually bluffing and more likely that he actually has, you know, a value hand? Yeah, you could make that argument. Like it's, it's a little bit dangerous and I'm really surprised to see turn go check, check. I make boyfriend might've just been going for the turn check raise all in, which is pretty reasonable. Um, but when check two, I would expect Pauly to, to stab with two eights. Um, Besides the check he might back. just be going right. for a, uh, yeah, he improves on this river, and, and now it might be the total opposite result. Now we probably see Polly go for a decent size value bet and potentially get paid off. So yeah, would, to your point about, you know, maybe blocking bluffs, it, it's probably not wise to narrow in too quickly on like 8-9, you know, the straight being like the the important hand here. Wow, Polly checks behind eights. I'm shocked. I think that he's reading into a little bit like McBoyfin made a large bet on the flop. So, you know, certainly not a lot of weak showdownable hands that he might expect to run into, right? Like your your random pair of sixes or whatever, like probably not so likely. But, you know, you don't want to overlook the possibility of just getting check called by ace high, which is extremely likely in that situation, I think. Let's watch these two hands because these could both turn yeah. out interesting. I don't know if Make Boyfin's even going to continue the ace high on scrambled eggs. Uh, he's certainly going to continue Jack Ten though. And instead of he doesn't he doesn't just continue. He decides to raise with it. So both yeah. pots with three bet. Obviously scrambled hands. The scrambled eggs one is over. Hot sauce though. Pot is now forty four hundred and the ace king having the fold. Strong play there from Make Boyfin with Jack Ten. Yeah. I think that's good recognition of like a spot where where he gets to raise pretty often and stealing some equity away from from Polly there who not not that his bet is bad or anything but it's a little ambitious to start putting in money on the on the nine high connected with you know no pair no draw and well, this hand could get interesting with with uh Polly rivering the nut straight on a 5 to a straight board Pretty much any hand that Make Boyfin has is is a contender to continue on the river when it when it's a chop on board. So well, and, and he does block. I mean, he doesn't block the nine obviously because he would have that, but he does block the ten nine to ten in his hand a little bit. Yeah, or is, that not, would, is that not relevant? It's useful for sure. If 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 he has a so by having a ten, you know, he makes ten nine less likely, but he doesn't interfere with the possibility of like just a random six that is now counterfeit. Although him having the six as well uh, is maybe the reason he ends up folding, because you know if if Pauly was just betting the uh, the one card straight on the turn and then now got counterfeit on the river, that'd be like a, a prime hand that he'd have available to bluff with. Uh, right. So by having a six himself, make boyfriend finds the fold. I, I think that's pretty reasonable. A big pot here on scrambled eggs with the uh, with jacks versus eights. Yeah, no doubt. And there's the call four bet here nine seven six. Oh wow, 
that's a that's an action board for both of these hands. Um, yeah. Jax is not. I mean, the the extra stack depth here might lead to a little less action. Um, if they were, you know, 10k exact to start the hand, I would generally expect Make Boyfin to just like check raise and get this hand in. Here with with you know over 15k to start, he might choose check call. I'm not really sure. But if he does check raise, the money is almost certainly going in. Yeah, good catch by the way, because uh, both these players, there is the check raise. He's going to do it anyway to 4,500. So the money looks like it's probably going to go in regardless. But yeah. Uh, yeah, a good observation from Kevin to notice that not only this table, but both tables are uh, over 150 big blinds deep. There's the all in Jacks versus eights, King of Spades, and then an Ace of Spades clean run out for the Jacks and a huge hand. As uh, suddenly, Pauly Iris is now going to be up nearly 25K, just about that, maybe 26K. Once yeah. it gets up, yep, 26.5K. And that, that is a big hand with just 200 hands remaining. Looks like flush draw against what is a straight draw. So he could get yeah, some this, this certainly could be a check raising candidate for, for Mick Boyfin. I, don't, I feel anecdotally that we haven't seen a lot of check raising. And there it is. I don't know like how much that actually it's just like a good hand to check raise and make boyfriend shoes. But certainly I think that plays into some people's mentality. Like if they if they haven't run a check raise, you know, almost the entire match, or if they've run maybe one or two and they normally have many more check raises over this sample. It might you, just kind of subconsciously boost their frequency a little bit. If you did check raise the Queen Four Diamonds, is that a good turn continuation card? Well, it's not great. Um, certainly we want to continue betting sometimes here. Um, certain parts of make boyfriend's range, like pocket threes or, uh, or even like an ace jack kind of hand are possible. So like those hands are still very, very strong, but other parts of his range are not thrilled with that card. You know, the 10, three suited, the, the jack nine or queen jacks or whatever. So I, I do think we would see some checking, although with like diamonds and a queen, I don't, Certainly don't fault him for continuing to bet. He gives up on the river. By the and way, this, the nine will yeah. play. Oh, this the is going to play. I was actually, doesn't I was even, he, he doesn't even hesitate. He just like snap, <laughs> snap shows it down and wins with the nine kicker. I, I, I have to imagine Paulie just gave up too, right? It kind of feels that way. I'm, I'm actually like, I'm, I'm not surprised, but I'm a little curious as to what um, Paulie's turn plan was if he didn't feel like he could bluff some rivers because certainly make boyfin i mean it maybe doesn't show because he ended up just having a, a weaker queen high but certainly sometimes he's going to have like a bottom pair with a with a queen or king or sometimes he's going to just have like the king high flush draw that missed so you know to be so confident in showing down queen high it's a little surprising to me i'm gonna think about it but both of these hands are are gonna Ooh. There's going to be some action in both of these pots, I think. On, yeah, on scrambled sure. eggs, make boyfriend used a large size C bet on the flop. It's a play that I like in it. Oh, oh wow! Oh, jeez. And on hot sauce, which you were obviously watching, we've got the the spiciest river in the deck. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, you hit your gut shot on the turn. If you're make boyfriend, you're like, bam, awesome. Wow, he flats. He just called. He just called. He's a he is That's an. A that's a killer flat wow that's that's so frustrating for Polly because obviously his intention there is to represent like a much thinner hand than a flush and and to get raised well uh, let's know. see what happens on scrambled eggs here as, as oh. there's a chance that make boyfin this is a hand you could jam or you could call so there's a chance that he just runs it against kings here yeah and i think i think it's certainly significant that this particular hand, yeah, we're going with it. Ace queen versus kings, jack high flop, four hearts on the river, or nine of diamonds on the river, and that is uh, another huge pot for Pauly Iris. And I know these players play for you know pretty large stakes, and I think in the scheme of things, these are actually you know pretty low stakes for these particular players. I know it is for Make Boyfin. Um, that said. When you know your opponent's been holding over you for the last say two three hundred hands, and you look down at the graph, and you look down at forty thousand, you're down forty thousand. You're still human, you know. 
how do you stay level headed? I know you kind of answered that question earlier on, but if you're in make boyfriend spot right now, how difficult is it? Yeah, it is hard. I, I think that, you know, what, what works for me and what I think that make boyfriend needs to do is, is kind of just remind that like, like kind of talk to himself in a way that's like strategy oriented or like adjustment oriented. Right. So make sure that his focus is entirely on strategic elements of the game you know, what is Polly doing strategically right now that's working, if anything? You know, what adjustments do I actually need to make to my game, if anything? And and maybe there is nothing that you need to do. Um, you know, you, you want to observe the situation also from Polly's point of view. Like right now, there's the, there's an interesting spot developing here on Scrambled Eggs where McBoyfin probably has a hand. Like once he bets the turn, it's probably pretty standard to follow through the river. Polly does not have an easy call on the river if he gets shoved into um, you know, is, is make boyfriend in a situation where he feels that Polly will read him as too light and call Whoa! him too light. <laughs> And it, and it That's seems cool. that he was, it seems that he was in a situation where, uh, Polly felt that make boyfriend might get out of line. It, it can be though, like a bit, not scary, but like it, it can cause hesitation to have exactly what it looks like you have. And to be and to know exactly how thin it is to try betting in the first place, and then to still do it. Yeah, that's uh, what scares me so much. It always scares me. Where it's like you're like you're playing against somebody who's really good, and yeah. you kind of play the hand, like you said, exactly the way you would. So you're basically turning your hand face up. But I guess you're safeguarding that by also doing that occasionally with you know with the nuts. Exactly. Yeah. Like it comes down to to being confident in your total strategy and your ability to, to recognize situations when you have other hands than what it, what it looks like you have. And, and that's the challenging part for sure. So it's pretty interesting on hot sauce to see if make boyfriend will raise, he, he does decide to just call with the ACE 10 or sorry, the 10 nine. And I suspect this river is clean enough that Polly will keep betting. He's not always going to keep betting one pair on the river, but this river is pretty safe. Is this a raise with this sizing if you're make boyfriend or are you just calling? I mean, obviously he's never folding. Yeah, he's probably thinking about it, but I think he's just going to end up calling. I, it's You have to be so, so sure that Polly doesn't just find the size with ace five, ace, ace nine, ace 10. And, and those hands are just really reasonable to size this way. Oh. Wow, he does find it though. Like it, he's basically just stone confident that Polly picks a different bet size with, you know, all of his deuce threes with all of his sets. Um, Cause going all in on the river is just like a really commonly used bet size in today's metagame. Uh, yeah, I really, agree. It's been, it's been kind of fun to watch, you know, going back to that hand where he raised with 10, nine, finding the raise in that situation against that sizing, being so certain that he did have the best hand there. The fact that he didn't get called by ACE King, which is, yeah. Pretty much the best hand that can't beat him, right? Yeah, so we yeah, we we did kind of focus in on it, make boyfin finding the thin raise and, and probably not giving Polly enough credit for making a tough fold. Um that's it's maybe just well played by both players, right? Like to be in that situation and, and maybe misstep on you no, know, I chose this sizing with Ace King, but I've Forgot, I probably wasn't going to choose this sizing with better hands, but make boyfriend, you know, makes a huge river raise, gives us a really bad price, maybe doesn't go for the bluff often enough, given the circumstances, uh, knowing that he can't represent, you know, a super thin hand or that many hands. So definitely credit to Polly for, for perhaps correctly weighting make boyfriend's range to be value heavy there, um, and and not feeling too obligated to call. Paulie in the tank here on over in hot sauce. He's got a pair of sixes, not a great hand, obviously. You can see that make boyfriend not only with top pair, has the flush draw as well. He went pot on the turn. Pot is 9,300. There's the call. Nine of spades yeah. on the river. The queen 10 is still good. We could see another, like, small bet, that block bet size. Does just end up going for all of it. There's really just there's not much left. It's very frequently the right play. 
when there's not much behind to just go all in. Paulie has to call off 8,700. This pot's actually about 22,000. And he finds the fold. After calling the turn, he does find the fold. Paulie's still up over three buy-ins. Well, three buy-ins now, right now, 29,000 exact. Uh, that is going to do it for us, by the way. We have, uh, we're actually going to get 751 hands in. Um, and uh, regardless of what happens over on Scrambled Eggs, Paulie Iris is going to win this. And uh, he wins that final hand, and that is going to do it for us. Paulie Iris looks like he is going to win over 38,000 today. Uh, he is now up 67,000 total, and he is 2-0. and So he jumps ahead of Fedor. He is the current leader in this legend showdown. Uh, once again, they're back at it tomorrow. Not these two particular players, but it'll be uh, Mikhail Thuritz versus Fedor. Uh, Mikhail's got a lot of work to do. Mikhail is currently in sixth place. He is 0-1, down 29K. So he's really going to have to make something happen tomorrow. Fedor, of course, 1-0. He is uh, 49K in the green right now. And then on Thursday, we have uh, my co-commentator, Kevin Rabichow, who will be playing against the player we just saw make Boyfin in a pivotal match, both players needing that one pretty badly. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watch. I'm, I'm going to try and watch tomorrow. I think that's going to be a really fun matchup. Thuritz and, and Holes, both, you know, non-specialists, but very, very good poker players. So I think they're, you're going to see some of the more creative play and some of the more, like, uh, out of line stuff that you might not see in, in a match like this one that we just saw where both players were just playing really, really solid, really excellent heads up no limit poker uh yeah, and yeah no i'm gonna I'm have to finish studying a little bit get ready for make boyfin and and hopefully the cards are with me on thursday sounds good kevin rabichow there guys he's a great chef he's a great poker player of course he is a elite pro over at run it once poker and he will be facing off against make boyfin on thursday but before we get that there'll be more action here on the run it once poker twitch channel tomorrow for Kevin Rabichow, for everybody at Run It Once Poker, we want to thank you for joining us. Congratulations to Paulie Iris for winning. He is now 2-0, up 67,000, adding 38K to his winnings today. That is going to do it for us. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.